and welcome to another comp whiz tutorial. I'm Ross and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an old western style uh, wanted poster. I'm just going to minimize that and open up right here. Then while you have, uh, after you opened this up, you're going to go into image, canvas size, and on the top one click 400. It will uh, change the height also because uh, this is intermeshed, so just click resize. And then add an alpha channel also. So, and now we'll need to go into File, Open as Layers. I'll have the link to the description of this also in the description. <laughs> it's called JS Wood Slats. And this will appear on top of it, so just move it down one below it. And now you'll have your background. So uh, now right click on your parchment paper and click uh, layer to image size so that uh, we can edit it easier. Now we're going to make the edges of this uh, look more like, like cut up kind of. So we'll go into our, our eraser tool and built into GIMP you have a uh, brush called Vine. Now uh, this vine you can use as an eraser also, so just uh, cut up the sides a little bit, so looks pretty good, you know. This uh, will not end up as bad as it looks right now, because we're going to feather the selection. And that's fine. So uh, now we'll need to right click on that and click alpha to selection. And then select, oops, not sharpen, <laughs> select feather and then we'll uh, go in by 20 that uh, makes the sides look more uh, you know feathered or so you can actually make this more uh, feathered it just looks a lot better when it's feathered, so it doesn't look like it's actually uh, edited uh, you can also use the blur tool on the sides uh, right there so it you know there's not so hard edges um, now to get on to the rest we'll need to go in and file open as layers a picture that you have uh, taken uh, in already so uh, any like maybe picture of you uh, snarling or something so I'm gonna use this I used it in my other one and I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to need to go around my face so I don't have the background showing. And I'm going to speed it up right now. And uh, now that I've used my intelligent scissors to take this out, I'm going to invert the selection and then delete it. And then right click and click add alpha channel. But uh, that didn't delete it, so I'll need to do col color to alpha white. And now that that's done, we'll select all. But um, we're going to need to make the layer to image size on that uh, layer. And now we'll scale it down so it'll fit in our paper uh, about right there. And you can just move it over right there. Perfect. Okay, then just anchor that floating selection. Now we're going to need to edit this picture. So we'll need to duplicate it, and then on your top one, you'll go into Colors, Threshold. You can either leave it at the default or change it, whatever uh, looks good. I'm going to leave it right there. And now we'll go into Colors, Color to Alpha. Color to Alpha just makes whatever this color is transparent. So now that doesn't uh, look too great so we'll uh, go into the bottom layer and click colors posturize but uh, just make it not the most but maybe a little less there we go and then go into filters artistic cartoon and make it cartoony <laughs> Alright, that's good. Uh, now we'll merge this layer down. And then, uh, 
Now we'll need to duplicate it again and make the top one overlay and the bottom one burn. But uh, that looks not that great, so we'll need to turn this burn layer down with the opacity. So we'll need to turn that down. It will not end up like that, but make sure you uh, do not merge these two layers or the overlay will not work. So uh, now go back into your parchment paper layer and uh, make and click your dodge or burn tool. We're going to burn this, so we're going to use a soft circle brush and make it pretty big, uh, just so you know whatever your preference is. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up because it kind of takes a little bit. You're just gonna be uh, making it darker so it goes well with your uh, face that you have just made darker. And I'll speed this up right now. And now that we're back, uh, well, we're gonna leave the face like that, even though uh, we can all the, its selection and then feather the selection again, like that, filter the other one, uh, feather it, I mean, <laughs> feather it so it uh, fits well with the paper. Uh, now we're gonna add our text. We're gonna, I'm gonna use the font of stencil. And just, uh, I'm doing it in all caps so it looks cool. So I'm just going to do wanted. And we're going to go it down, uh, since it starts with sans, you'll be going down into stencil. And I made mine 50. Just fits well. I like the way it looks. And notice that the black does not really go well with the actual, uh, uh, picture. So we're going to discard the text and actually we'll need to move it up a little more because we're going to add something else right there. And then we're going to discard the text information and we're going to duplicate it. But uh, before you duplicate it or right now, you, you need to click overlay for both of them. But since wanted, we want that to be very emphasized. We're going to, I'm going to duplicate it three times. Uh, make sure not to merge it down or the overlay will not work. I've said that before, but I can't uh, say it enough. So now we're going to make uh, do the exact same thing with dead or alive. Uh, I chose uh, 18, at, oh, uh, about 20 as the size font I'm going to use. And then I'm going to move it down a little bit right there. Then I'm going to discard the text information, use overlay, and then duplicate it. Now uh, it looks like the wanted is emphasized, the devil alive is a little less, and now we're going to do uh, the dollar sign 10,000 reward. Now I chose uh, 30 as the text size on this one. I'm going to move it over right under my head. Now I'm going to discard text information, click overlay, and then duplicate it. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to just go back into your background image and uh, click your blur tool and go scale it up and then make sure you make the rate pretty big that's a little too much so I'm just gonna undo that there we go and just turn the rate down there we go so it doesn't look so hard edged and that's uh, that's it for to make a a western style wanted poster